this is going to be my last year competing in CrossFit. I've already been on the third place spot and the second place spot, so this year is my last chance to get that first place spot. Julie Boucher, the number one overall. And Boucher, the warrior. Going into regionals, I felt really great. The first few workouts went better than I could have planned them. If anyone has a chance, I think it's going to be Julie. Like everything was going to be awesome. Boy, you hate to see that for Julie Boucher. It felt like someone dropped a barbell on the back of my leg. I just was really confused, and then I tr tried to step down, and I noticed that my foot just wasn't working the way that it should. I knew that it was my Achilles and that that was going to be it. For the past six years, we're leading up to this point because this was going to be my last season. It was weird. I almost felt this like peaceful feeling like, it's okay, this is what's supposed to happen and you can handle this. And when the, the judges asked me if I wanted to keep going, I was like, of course I'm gonna keep going. There's definitely a lot of different ways to go out of a sport. And all season I've been saying, I don't care about the placement, I don't care what happens. I wanna just say that I gave everything I had and I honestly can say that. As soon as they started cheering, I started crying because you can just feel like the whole community just like lift you up on their shoulders. Like they know what you're going through and they're like, they've been cheering you on all along. It was like definitely the most amazing moment that I've ever had competing. CrossFit has definitely taught me more about the importance of commitment. It has allowed me to take that into other areas of my life too. You just have to be patient, you have to put a little bit of effort in every day and always be working towards whatever goal you are committed to. To me that is that has been a really exciting way for me to transition from an athlete into more of my medical career. I've been lucky because there's a lot of things I'm excited about that I'm working on right now. So it's gonna be a really busy, exciting year. I can't say that I'll never compete again because I love that feeling of competing. I still am determined to get back to where I was and overall there's still lots of ways that I can improve over the next several years of my life.